Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion on Open Evans Daily Devotional Study Channel, a platform that brings you the Open Evans Devotional of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible even as we read along today. Today's date, Tuesday, October 31st, 2023. Topic, Jesus is Lord No Controversy Part 2. Memory Verse, John 9 verse 25. He answered and said, Whether he be a sinner or no, I know not, one thing I know, that, whereas I was blind, now I see. Bible reading is taken from, John 9 verse 1 to 11. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man, or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered neither hath this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me, while it is day, the night cometh, when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And said unto him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which is by interpretation, sent. He went his way, therefore, and washed, and came seeing. The neighbors, therefore, and they which before had seen him that he was blind, said, Is not this he that sat and begged? Some said, This is he, others said, He is like him, but he said, I am he. Therefore said they unto him, How were thine eyes opened? 11. He answered and said, A man that is called Jesus made clay, and anointed my eyes, and said unto me, Go to the pool of Siloam, and wash, and I went and washed, and I received sight. Our topic once again is Jesus is Lord, No Controversy Part 2. Message Yesterday we discussed how the resurrection of Jesus Christ confirmed His Lordship. This, in essence, establishes that only the one with the power over there can be Lord indeed. Today we shall look at another aspect of Jesus Christ's Lordship, His dominion over all calamities and sicknesses, as seen in Isaiah 61 verse 1. Luke 4 verse 18 also corroborates this. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. When Jesus was confronted face to face with the madman of Gadara, for example, he demonstrated this virtue as the great deliverer and miracle worker when he cast out the demons that had held the madman captive for years in, Luke 8 verses 26-39. Jesus came to preach the gospel to the poor for all around salvation and rebuked with authority all who tried to oppose him. For example, he preached, Woe unto you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye compass sea and land to make one proselyte, and when he is made, ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves in, Matthew 23 verse 15. To this and many of his teachings, it was said, and it came to pass when Jesus had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one having authority, and not as scribes in Matthew 7 verses 28 to 29. Our Lord Jesus Christ was asked to prove His Lordship in John 10 verses 24 to 25. All He did was simply refer His interviewers, 
to the work that his father had been doing through him. He said, The works that I do in my father's name, they bear witness of me in John 10 verse 25. As children of God, we must be able to represent Jesus Christ adequately. All you need is to give your life to Jesus and live by His commandments. I prophesy to you today, you will graduate from being a miracle consumer to a miracle worker, in Jesus' name. Prayer Point Father, please empower me to represent you to the whole world in Jesus' name. Amen. Bible in One Year, Luke 23-24 our hymn today is Hymn 7. I am thine O Lord. Have a great day. See you tomorrow, God bless you.